Hello everyone! I am so excited to be making this video today because we're gonna talk about all the differences between Italian grocery stores and American grocery stores. As you know, maybe you don't, now you do, I'm a real foodie and I get so excited, so excited when I go to a new grocery store. It can be in Italy, it can be in Japan, in America. If it's a new, nice, well-supplied grocery store, I'm happy, I'm happy. If you're a foodie like me, you will appreciate this video. Let's start. I divided this video into three main sections. Size, price, and variety, my favorite. Let's start with the first one, size. Probably you can already imagine, I'm generalizing a little bit, but in general, American grocery stores are a little bit bigger. Of course, I know we have sometimes massive grocery stores in Italy, but also we have a lot of small to medium grocery stores. In America, I've been to many different grocery stores. They were overall a little bit bigger, especially if you're in the suburbs. Short and sweet, let's move on to the second category, a little more interesting, price. Where do we start? In general, Italian grocery stores are cheaper. Of course, if you want to buy an avocado or a mango in Italy, it can be very expensive. So yeah, it depends on what you buy, but in general, Italian grocery stores are cheaper. For example, I am used to eating a lot, a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables. And honestly, at least here in Florida, vegetables are so, so expensive, like way more expensive than Italy. Look at these prices here. I really wanted to show you some real prices here. So here you can see some salad for $6, $5. Sometimes you get a discount if you buy two. Like for example here, if you buy three, you pay $10. And here you can see some very expensive cauliflower for $4. And some very expensive broccoli for $4. And here comes my favorite. Three little bell peppers for $5. So expensive. Avocados were maybe cheaper in America because for $5 you could get three good avocados. Yay! And I'm not even talking about, you know, like the asparagus, the like super expensive and more rare vegetables. I'm talking about like tomatoes. Why are vegetables so expensive in America? I don't really know, honestly, I have to do some research because when I was in Japan, I knew that Japan had to import a lot of vegetables because Japan has a lot of mountains, they don't have a lot of land to grow vegetables, but I thought in America they did have land and they could grow vegetables, so why are they so expensive? So Brad and I have been buying some frozen vegetables because we feel like they're a little bit cheaper and since we want to eat a lot of vegetables every day, we feel like as of now that's our best option fish, meat, maybe it's a little bit more expensive in America, but they're similar. One thing that really surprised me is how expensive toilet paper is here in America. Brian always says that American toilet paper is better, but here, come on, $15 for that? Or 10, eight, nine? No, that's too expensive. Why is it so expensive? Why? Maybe because the quality is better? Well, maybe a little bit, but really, I don't think it should be that expensive. You might be thinking that it's because of coronavirus, because that's what I thought at first, but Brian's dad told me that it's just, no, it, that's the normal price, the standard price, so. Mm. When we talk about candy, candy bars, chips, a lot of frozen stuff, maybe the price is really similar. Eggs, milk, yeah, that's similar. But now let's talk about my favorite category, variety. <laughs> for certain things we have more variety in Italy and for certain things we have more variety in America. Let's start with Italy. Okay, when it comes to bread, I feel like we win. We win. I have to be more specific though. When we talk about fresh, freshly made bread, we totally win. But they do have a lot of packaged bread a lot because I feel like that's the American standard like they go for the packaged bread usually rather than the fresh bread but in Italy I think we go for the fresh bread more often packaged bread sometimes is so sweet and I feel like I want more texture I want more crumbs I like that so 
Italy wins here. Fruit and vegetables, it's difficult. It's difficult because we have more seasonal stuff. Like in Italy, you usually can't find strawberries in February. In America, you can find strawberries in February. You find like fruit and vegetables all year round. In Italy, you don't. And I don't know, I feel like I like it. I like the fact that when it's autumn, I can finally buy pumpkin and squash. It's so cool. I can make those specific meals that time of the year. If I had them all year round, like where is the fun? Anyways, I'm talking about cheese, of course. I think Italy wins. They do have a lot of imported cheese, but Italy wins. I talked about lunch meat with Brian. He thinks that in America they have more. I think that in Italy we have more, so I don't know. There is a deli here, but I feel like we have more. We have a lot of kinds of salami, we have a lot of kinds of ham and smoked and non-smoked and blah, 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 blah. And also we have a lot of regional specialties. And I'm not talking about one product, I'm talking about a lot of regional specialties. Now let's talk about American stuff that I was so surprised to see because they have so much variety. The first thing that I saw when I entered the closest grocery store here is the bakery section. It's crazy. It was like a real bakery. It's not like the bakery section at the grocery store. It's like a full bakery. They had cookies, they had muffins, they had whole cakes, they had like breakfast desserts. Like they had so many things. I was like, you don't even need to go to the bakery, really. And it's so tempting because they're not too expensive, you know? They're relatively cheap actually, so I was like, and so every time we go there, we end up buying a couple things, a couple treats. The hummus section is crazy. In Italy, when you find hummus, you find like one or two or three options. Here it's like pew, hummus. It must be really popular. The chips, the chips, guys. There's a whole aisle just for chips. It's impossible to choose. Like, how do you even try them all? I like it. It's fun. Every day, every day. Not, don't do that every day, but you can try a lot of different chips. They're not my favorite, but I do like them. And the cereal. Oh, another whole aisle. Why? Why? Like, we have a lot of cereal in Italy, but in America, maybe the only explanation, the only possible explanation I gave myself is because every American or maybe a lot of Americans have cereal in the morning. I don't know. Cereal, chips, amazing. And you know one more thing that I was like, I didn't expect that. Frozen pizzas. They have so many kinds of frozen pizza. So many. That's crazy. I was like, uh, so many brands, so many kinds. This actually makes sense because pizza is good. It's amazing. And in Italy, it's just way easier to, and it's better and it's even cheaper to go and buy fresh pizza. It's just more convenient and I think it tastes better. So it makes sense that in Italy, we don't have a lot of frozen pizzas, but in America, they do. They love it. And you know what? They love ice cream. Like, look at this. This is just ice creams and popsicles. This makes sense too. It's because in Italy, we have gelato shops. So maybe if we feel like we want ice cream, we go to a gelato shop. In America, they have so many ice creams. That's crazy. And then of course, they have some items that are just typically American, like maybe creamers. We don't really have creamers. Our coffee culture is different. Or maybe they have bagels. We don't. They have a lot of choices for peanut butter. We don't. We usually have one, two, three. But that's normal. It's because it's the American culture. It's the same as mozzarella for us. Like when you go to an Italian grocery store, you find a lot of kinds of mozzarella. But man, frozen pizza, ice cream, chips, cereal, and the bakery section. I was impressed. A lot of options. This is all for today. Let me know if you like the video. Leave a comment below. And if you like the video, share the video because I want to grow. Thank you for watching. Bye.